All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. If you got an old car like this 65 Coronet I've been working on forever, you probably would like to update your radio and not cut a giant hole in your dash. So here's what size hole is in this dash. And if you go to Walmart or somewhere and try to buy a radio and stick in it, you're gonna have to cut it out. So there's a solution to that that we found online. Let me show it to you. All right, here is the stock radio and the stock trim piece that goes back in place. And this is all that you get right here. So if you're gonna stick a radio through that, you're gonna to have to have something special. And that's what we got. This car had an AM radio and one speaker, 65 Cornet. So if you want to see the back side of that speaker, see our paper's kind of torn. You can send these off and get them rebuilt, but this one actually has a nice little frame. You can see there, and four bolts. I can take out one, two, three, four. They look like sheet metal screws. That speaker will drop out and I can use this frame again with a six or six and a half inch speaker. I believe it's six and a half. So what we have, this is the retro manufacturing retro sound stuff. So the radio in this box, control shafts, and the radio face, it's about that size. Then you have chrome push buttons. So all these items will stick through this factory trim hole and look pretty factory. So that's pretty sweet. I didn't know they made this stuff and I'm not sure what the cost of it is. Check out retromanufacturing.com. I've never been there. Uh, this was just sent to me to install. Got a couple Rockford six and a half inch uh, round speakers and a couple of their retro sound speakers. And these are their retro pods, it's called. So if you wanted to mount the pod somewhere like a kick panel or whatever, it doesn't look like it's gonna work for this car. Uh, so I'll have to find a couple places to place those. Then you can mount their retro sound speakers or any speaker. These are 50 watts RMS, 100 watts max, four ohm. So they'll go in here and you have to, I'll probably have to clearance that a little bit for it to drop on down. But it looks pretty clean. It's actually a more powerful rated speaker. And it has a shallow, really super shallow magnet. So if you were going to mount those in your doors, that'd be a trick. Versus these Rockfords. So if I flip our Rockford over, that's the magnet that I'm used to seeing on stuff. Versus this. So the magnet's tight and made in. That's pretty sweet. Um, and it'll be a nice install in this old car. And it won't, the dash won't be hacked up or anything like that. Um, but you'll, you'll be able to have all the... Two, U two USB ports, RCA outputs, color display, uh, non-volatile memory, uh, Bluetooth made for iPhone and iPod, Sirius XM, HD radio, all the jazz. So I'm going to open it up so we can check it out. I got to get this uh, everything installed. Uh, it looks like it also comes with a retro antenna. If not, you'll have to order that also, but uh, stick it in place. And I'm going to get this stuff kind of plugged in. Here's our, looks like our auxiliary retro sound thing. So this will mount a nice little adapter under your dash. And you can plug in. Boom. Plug in your iPod or your uh, USB port, whatever you want to there. If you got your phone cable, you know, so if you're going to charge your iPhone, you can probably plug it in there and it will come up on your screen. We got to test all this stuff out, get it put in. There's our kit unboxed. Here is the little face plate. Uh, you get two knobs. They basically have like a little, looks like a little phone cord plug in. It goes on each side of your radio box. I know it all looks weird now, but it's going to go together nicely. Our buttons. You can hear the clicking sound of it. Uh, but yeah, it it all looks pretty straightforward. I'm gonna open up and use the directions. I'll have to on this deal, but uh, maybe get a clean install. They make it a little easier on you to give you two pigtails, and they're labeled. Uh, 
basically like any old any radio you buy over the counter yellow's hot red is ignition black is ground blue and white is the amp turn on so if you if you had an amp you wanted to run in there and all that jazz look at all the hookups that's wild there's the antenna i may can actually use the factory antenna on this car it's still in place it looks really nice um and i would think that that would hook up uh work better than the one that they sent even if it's extended to be 10 foot tall like that <laughs> i wouldn't run it that way but maybe if you're driving 40 miles per hour front speaker i got it bracketed in here shot a little black paint around it a couple coats so whenever you look through the dash right there it's not ugly here's our radio i put the side brackets on there's a right and the left the screen and the buttons so it all looks like that but it is basically super technologically advanced pretty cool i think i have everything set for that so i can go ahead and mount it in the dash i'll get it mounted uh get it wired in it's not a big deal our two retro sound speakers will go in the pods and those pods will fit under the driver's seat that bench seat so it'll have three speakers total for now i will run him another wire to go to the rear because there's only one there's only one six by nine opening back here under the package tray so he said he would fool that later sounds good to me I don't... you may not can tell it but our radio is in mount it up nicely hit our key takes just a second and this thing will wake up if i could do this over again go way back in time i would have probably put the radio and top speaker in let me turn that down for a second uh, i would have put those in before i actually did the aftermarket air conditioner in this car i got most of my stuff done through the glove box here a lot of it but i had to lay upside down finish the brackets putting that top speaker in um was a major pain but you can see it's reading reading the title of the song to us uh plays nice i got a you can set everything i got got stuff set up a little bit here uh fader i got it mostly to the rear and that's because those speakers are under the seat and they are a lot less uh a lot like a lot more lackluster than the front this is cool 104.7 not bad uh other things i thought are notable and i've only played with this just a second if you hit the button it mutes it uh there's your fms ams I've just got it hooked to the factory antenna out there. Uh, where's it at? There we go. So knob goes sideways, it goes with Sirius. I don't have a Sirius uh, antenna hooked up right now to it. Uh, auxiliary, which would be one of the little plugs here. Um, this stuff can be tucked later. I just, I want it kind of close there's actually a bluetooth audio so i can bluetooth it to my phone one second for that so there it is i hit retro sound and it is connected back to the radio take it a minute and we're on am and that sucks So that's pretty trick. I think it kind of matches. I turn our lights on. You can kind of see. See the dimness of that tack. I got the green uh, shades into there, and I think it blends right in. So there, there was no place that I could tell to hook a uh, for your dimmer switch. So I think that's about what you get. Maybe if you hit display off, the display will go away eventually. Uh, but I'm assuming if you get into this, you can adjust those colors and stuff. I have no idea. 
Turn that up some. Anyway. I appreciate y'all watching. And if you want to put this radio in something, it seems pretty legit. I'll catch you next time.